Well, if you're like most people, you keep sensitive data on your phones. But are we putting our personal security at risk and don't even know it? Hackers, they have no problem finding you. There are cyber threats that have the ability to take over tens of millions of mobile devices around the world. Well, Michael Shalov, mobile security evangelist at Checkpoint Software Technologies. He's here to tell us what we need to know to protect our mobile devices. Thanks for being with us, Michael. Good morning, guys. Michael, this is ridiculous. The hackers are getting into everything. What's the latest threat with our mobile devices? Over the last uh, few years, we all sort of shifted from uh, using our laptops or desktop computers to our mobile devices. There is no geographical uh, meaning to where the hackers are located. The Chinese cyber criminals were able to compromise over 1.3 million uh, Android devices worldwide. Once they hack the mobile device, they could actually access all the Google information, the Google accounts that the user had. So they had access to your emails, to your photos, to the documents that you store over there. How can you actually check and be aware that you that this is actually happening to your phone? It's very hard for, for uh, uh, an end user user to actually, to, for the consumer to actually figure out if his phone is being breached or not. And so how does this transfer over to businesses that are at risk? The risk over there is actually greater. In most businesses, the employee can actually bring his phone from home. It's enough for only one employee to be infected. It's enough for only one person to get breached. It's enough for one employee within the company to be breached. It's enough to have only one employee compromised in order to put all the corporate information at risk. And what are the risks for Apple versus Android devices? Android is definitely a little bit riskier because of the market share that they have, and uh, but uh, Apple has uh, its risk as well. For both of those platforms, the risks are uh, pretty similar. The first one is when we download apps, right? Those apps can be uh, infected with the malware. In addition, when you connect to Wi-Fi networks, uh, when you travel, I assume that you would connect to, to your hotel Wi-Fi or in the airport, uh, those can be compromised. Uh, when you get those text messages that looks like spam and you have a link, so 50% of them will actually lead you to a website, which is a fake website that will try to fish your username and password. Interesting. So how are we preparing for some of these cyber attacks? I would say that uh, there are multiple steps. The first one is to make sure that you have a passcode on your phone. For the regular consumer, it's pretty difficult to understand what's right and what's wrong. Therefore, what we recommend is that people will actually use a mobile security software uh, on their phone that can identify those risks. For example, we at Checkpoint, we have a solution for both consumer and businesses. This is probably the best step or best measure to take. Michael, thank you so much. We're out of time. Uh, send us to a website for more tips and information, please. So we have a great resource. Uh, if you're interested in updates about the new threats, you should definitely check our blog, blog.checkpoint.com, blog.checkpoint.com, blog.checkpoint.com. Uh, also, FBI, they have an excellent site where they're actually posting uh, advisories, also information about new threats. Thank you so much for being with us, Michael. Thank you. I really never thought about that. Yeah, you know, keeping I think your computer I'm safe, of... but not your phone.